is two things I do not mess with. That's ghosts and snakes. I'm not doing it. I will not. I ain't got no friends. If I had friends, even with my brothers, if they ever ask me to go to an abandoned spot, I'm not doing it. If they ask me to play with a Ouija board, not doing it. And I was asked one time with my brothers, y'all really think I'm about to mess with a Ouija board? No, no. I'm already fighting enough demons. I'm good. Look, today, I just, I was trying to be funny. Didn't work out, did it? My corny ass. We're going to be reacting to it. Top five. Nukes top five scary ghost videos. They're supposed to be disturbing, but I don't know. I, I'll be the judge of that. Now go ahead and follow me on my socials as well, bro. Alright, let go. Top five ghosts. Cough on camera. Highway horror. Late one Sunday evening, Mitch Kuhn and his parents are driving down a busy highway near Sydney, Australia, when out of nowhere they have an absolutely unnerving encounter. Mitch captured the hair-raising moment with his dashboard camera. Mitch explains that he was shocked when out of nowhere a child appeared right on the busy mm. highway in front of him. He says that the child looked no older than six and seemed to be wearing a blue coat. Mitch Coon's that mother been quickly calls the police to warn them about the lost child randomly walking on the highway. After hearing nothing back, 45 minutes later, Mitch calls again to offer his dash cam footage. But the officer on the phone... I'm not gonna lie. Some of this stuff could have been, like, edited. Not, not by him, but by, you know, the person or these these could be real i'm i'm it's just my opinion they could be real but informs him that the child has been found and that the footage isn't needed and now here's what y'all about to get hella like really beat ads weird. and like music ads so but, like that's what i'm focusing by the police on. mitch kuhn believes that the child is safe he posts his dash cam footage to Facebook and the video is picked up by the Australian National News. I was about to say, they from the UK? To the police it is Australia. To get more information. I know overseas, the they drive on like the opposite side. that they ever found the child. They say that they searched the area, but no child was found and that there were no reports of missing children in the area. So could it be that Mitch captured something paranormal on camera? And why the strange reaction by the authorities? I'm honestly just not sure. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments. This dude Chills has like a creepier voice than this guy. Like he'll, he'll found footage. I'll talk about it later. Now this next video is a bit of a mystery as the source has been heavily debated on the internet. In the video, now, man Chills is narrating this. I would have been more Oregon, scared. But... When later that night, things just go horribly wrong. Some believe that this footage could have been recorded by Jacob Edris. Jacob disappeared in 2017 and was last seen in Eugene, Oregon, after frantically calling his boss about being chased by someone. Others believe that the footage could have been shot by Chase Hove, a young man who also disappeared in 2017. Chase disappeared in the exact same area where this video was recorded. But those are all just theories. Here is the chilling video. All right, well, it may seem like a bit much, but here I am solo camping. This is Deschutes, Oregon. Well, close to Bend, Oregon. I brought the eight person tent or the six person tent. I haven't pulled this thing out in a long time. So I thought first of all, I should pull that out. Sir. Give it a go. It's about that. Why would you camp? In the woods by yourself. Forget about the six person tent, but why would you do this by yourself? It's not safe. I mean, you're in the woods by yourself. 
if you would lock yourself in the car, that shit wouldn't be safe as well. So it's like, dude, you. I know people just like to camp. I went camping once, but I wasn't camping by myself. I went with uh my ex and a few of her friends, and we we camped in the same area, bro. I would not go camping by myself, bro. You better have you a rifle, a pistol, or something, bro, because anything can happen. They just said Buddy was being chased by a dude named Chase. I think his name was Chase. He was being chased by Chase. Boy, if you don't get you a pistol, man. Sun is setting. I think it's about eight o'clock. In the morning. Right here in less than an hour. We can get a little bit over there to the trees. Beautiful night. Definitely oh, turning in early though. It's eight p.m. I thought it would have been dark later that night. Woken up by God noises. Yeah, you can hear it stuff from that side. Bro, you were by yourself. Right Why? Mm -mm. Right outside. Mm -mm. One. That, that, um, that can't be. Just in case a jump scare, you know, pops up or whatever. You know, I want, I want to see that shit. Um, one. You in a tent, bro. I seen scary movies. With the scary movies I seen, bro, it was stabbing going on from outside the tent, bro, trying to kill the person that's in the tent, bro. And and you just you standing up or you sitting up in your tent like, nah, bro, no, bro. Carry you a piss. It's a, bro, it's a rock and bottles. I hear glass. Like, glass bottles being kicked. Leave me alone. Hmm. See? See? No. No. No, 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 no. Hell no. Flashlight. And you can't see God thing. You made it out. Night vision. You how to Jesus Christ. I don't know where the f chased me off. Now I'm wondering the god darkness. You it probably won't even chase. But it could be a hobo. And you camped out. You on their property, bro. If hobo was living in the woods, or like any homeless person living in the woods, bro, you on their property now, bro. You ain't paying. I was about to make a joke. Nah, never mind. We're going to finish this. Or try to. You have a whole car. I think it was a Crown Vic. And you ain't hopping that motherfucker, bro. Crazy to me, bro. I would have hopped in my whip, bro. I would have grabbed my keys, hopped in my whip. song kind of fire but you look up in the trees like a motherfucker really gonna climb trees that damn quick anybody chasing you bro that's an animal that's a whole monkey after your ass no racial
<laughs> oh no. Someone or something no. makes an attempt to get inside the man's tent. Make that's something, bro. That that's a creature, bro. That's either a ghost or bro. That's a motherfucking. It's a frantic run for it and forgets his flashlight in the process. Because it's pitch black out, the man relies on the infrared feature on his camera. To his horror, whoever was trying to get into his tent is now standing right in front of him. And that's where the footage cuts off and the mystery intensifies. He's now, gone. Some claim that He's the gone. camera was found at the campsite along with his car, his tent, and other valuable belongings. But the mysterious man who recorded it all is said to have disappeared. He's gone. So whether this footage was recorded by Jacob Eder Either Jacob's dead or my boy is just like living in the woods now. He's one with nature. I don't know. My boy is gone, bro. This creature right here either killed him or got this boy in the woods hallucinating. So the next person that come camping in his woods, because it's now in Jacob's woods. And his this creature's woods, bro. But the next people that come up in there, y'all gonna be part of nature too, bro. Y'all, y'all gonna be Jacob Prey. Dress Chase Hove are neither. We'll probably never know. And perhaps the footage is just a huge, elaborate hoax. Real or not, I leave it up to you. Or it, to decide. It could have been Chase and Jacob. To the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Point Pleasant mm. Phenomenon. Urban explorer Chris Hill from the popular YouTube channel Urbex Hill is back for another strange urban explorer. Hold on, because my boy, he ain't pulling like major views, but he in the thousands, and all he doing is like. Urbix, I'm gonna have to subscribe to you. I'm gonna have to check your shit out, my boy. If your videos ain't long, I'm gonna have to uh, react to your videos as well. This time, Chris travels to Point Pleasant, West Virginia, to search out a creepy old tunnel system that is hidden somewhere deep within the woods surrounding the city. Now, the small town of Point Pleasant has seen its fair share of tragedy. In 1967, a suspension bridge over the Ohio River, called the Silver Bridge, suddenly and without warning, collapsed under the weight mm. of rush hour traffic. Mm. 46 people died in the tragedy. And two of this bridge had to be old, bro, and not, like, rebuilt. They could have rebuilt that motherfucker, bro. Rush hour? That's, like, 11.50 to, like, 12, 1 o'clock. That's, that's rush hour. Motherfuckers heading, they on break, they going to get food, and they trying to hurry up back to work before they break is over with, and all that kind of stuff. That's that's a rush hour for real, but trust me, I know. I, I've i been through it. And then you got four, five o'clock rush hour where people are getting all work, and second shift or night shift is like coming in and all that kind of stuff, so it, like the roads be busy, but people be flying all that kind of stuff. That's besides the point, bro. That's besides the point. But this bridge was old. It didn't even get rebuilt or nothing, bro. Of the victims were never even found. The tragic event led to many strange conspiracies and legends as to why the bridge collapsed. You see, Point Pleasant, West Virginia is where the infamous folklore creature, the Mothman, was first ever sighted. There were multiple reports and sightings I seen of a cool, large humanoid moth-like creature. I seen videos of this. Point Pleasant throughout 1967. I know. I know it was real. This is the same year the bridge collapsed. Some believe that the mysterious moth okay. man was a harbinger, or even possibly the cause of the bridge collapse. After some scouting, Chris finds the tunnel system and starts his exploration. As he presses forward, exploring deeper and deeper into the tunnels. The water starts to flow more heavily, and the humid fog rising from the stream makes it hard for Chris to breathe. I will Many know. Into the tunnel, it the deeper you go, it's going to be harder for you to breathe. Other people have ever even explored, as there is not even any graffiti on the tunnel walls. 
Yeah, like videos like this, huh? Things start to take content creators that make videos like this. I know y'all be out there like. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Bro, don't zoom in. Hopefully that's the end of the tunnel. Don't keep going, bro. Don't. Yo, dumbass, keep going. Urbix, bro, why? No, that shit was loud as fuck, too. Bro, don't go check it out. A chilling sound coming from somewhere in the tunnels right behind him. He walks back to check it out, but he finds nothing there. Even though Chris is a little shook by what he just heard, he is still determined to press onward to find the end of the tunnel. And then he captures something absolutely terrifying. And you press forward, bro. Why? Why? That motherfucker was peeking. No. No. Nigga, no. No. You. Dude, he, he got. He got plenty of money. I'm pretty sure he got plenty. I'm not watching your ass, bro. I'm gonna keep it 100. I'm not watching your ass, bro. You pulling millions of views. No, bro. And this, you dropped this 10 days ago. You good. Figures can be seen peeking out at Chris before disappearing back into two, the tunnels. Two feet, bro. Chris says he could barely he see zoomed. anything through the fog on the water and was unaware of what his camera captured at the time. He says that he simply continued down the tunnel and never saw anything that could explain what he had filmed. So what... These YouTubers are willing to put their life at risk for you guys. I'm not doing that. I'm not. Bro, check out my skin. We not doing that. We gonna need like a hundred of us in that freaking sewage or under that bridge. Investigating or exploring shit, bro. I'm not doing that by myself. This dude, Chris. Proceeded to move forward to find out what the fuck those two creatures were. Why? Bro, was that not scary enough? This dude fearless. What do you think is going on here? This nigga fearless. Do these mysterious figures have anything to do with the countless I'm a man short motherfucker, bro. Pleasant? I would have ran. Always, I leave it up to you I ran. to decide. Meanwhile, on TikTok. Here TikTok comes TikTok. User, Secret 37 mm -hmm. is a mother mm -hmm. from the Philippines currently living in Japan with Hey, shout out, sons. shout out to Philippines, what? bro. She could be in Japan, but shout out Philippines, bro. Reason why I say shout out Philippines, because y'all already know I react to East Mill. One of my favorite Philippine artists, man. Shout out Ezekiel, man. Love the dude. Evening in the spring when the Sakura trees are in full bloom. The two boys make a video with one of their friends filming. What happens next is truly Bizarre. <laughs> Not Donkey Kong. <laughs> oh. 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 Hell no, nah, bro. A whole hand was wrapped on that kid's leg, bro. It, bro. Did you see it? A hand wraps around one of the boy's legs. Mm -hmm. The guy who's recording is shocked and hurries over to Yo, inspect young, the area around the two boys. If this, but, I want to say, older brother could have been the cousin. Older cousin. 
maybe even dad. If he did not see that and capture that, bro, that little boy would have been gone. I'm telling you, that little boy would have been gone. Snatched up, bro, crying, everything, bro. I know I would. There's nothing and no one there. Some Japanese TikTok commenters believe that long ago someone was buried on the spot where the Sakura tree now stands. Why? The restless spirit tried to reach out to the children, literally. But what do you think this creepy hand could be? Is it real or just an elaborate hoax? You decide. I don't know. That. I know. TikTok user Rachel Howard from Phoenix, Arizona is filming a quick little video to show off her brand new TV. But later she realized okay, it's my boy, that she uh, captured Dylan, aka Jug season about the Arizona, you know, TV, uh, urban legends. Luggy. Cause I know he know a lot about them urban legends over there. You know how long this took? To build the a dark humanoid figure seems to be standing over Rachel in the reflection on her TV screen. When she moves closer, whatever it is seems to dart away and just disappear. So did Rachel capture something paranormal by accident? You tell me. I got my TV up, Luggy. Oh wait. You know how long this took? The presence. Tommy Wells from Rockwood, Tennessee claims that paranormal activity surrounded him for years, even following him from home to home. But the terrifying events have now begun to affect his wife Leslie and their three children. The family has heard loud, hoof-like footsteps in the house. Mm. Objects move on their own. And Leslie has even found unexplained bruises all over her body. One night, they begin to hear strange sounds again. They record it all with their newly purchased camera. What happens next is downright creepy. I said, we've moved four or five about times, it keeps following us. No matter where the we go, it keeps following us. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. We, we live somewhere for two, maybe three months, and it happens right back again. Bro, forehead busting. I mean, I can't talk, you know. I'm tired of these damn. Bro, I'm tired of these ads. Water pressure's quitting. The it's it just turned off by itself? Water system. What's wrong with the water? I just filled the cup up. I don't know. It's just quit. What? Honey. What is going on? Everything in the whole So the water pressure, like, lowered, and then the water just cut. That's weird. That's weird. What the world? What? I'm fine now. What? This goes don't mess with him then. Not buddy in the white sweatshirt. It's crazy. Dude in a red t shirt. That t shirt too tight for you, bro. What is wrong with the You Mark too White? damn big to be wearing some What the What's wrong with the Mark White? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Pack it up. Lee. Piano plays. Y'all have a piano in y'all. Pack it up. I'm Lee. Please. If I'm making videos and something so happens to like move in the background and y'all catch that shit and I don't, y'all let me know, right? Because I'm going to pack it up and I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'll, I'll find somewhere else to stay. Never mind. They say ghosts follow, you know, people they, you know, after all that. I'll stay. I'm lying. Ain't nobody. What is? That? Is that a bunk bed in a hall? What is that? Tommy. What the? What f is that, Tommy? Look at Bill. Just I don't know his real name, but Bill just looking. He just sitting there looking. Get up, Bill. I'm getting the 
<laughs> Get up, Bill. Is what I'm doing. The water pressure in the house inexplicably drops. The microwave flickers and dies, and the piano in the living room makes a noise. But scariest of all, heavy clomping footsteps can be heard slow. No, the scariest of all is why Bill's still sitting there like, Bill, you don't get your ass up and move with us, bro. Slowly moving towards the family. That's when they decide Bill to just, just get looking out of back, there. looking for like to another day and Tommy come on and his out, family are back in their home to celebrate his daughter's birthday. Come on out, some bitch. Cousins, aunt, uncle, and parents have all gathered in the kitchen as the excited girl has served uncle her Bill. birthday cake. Unfortunately, this will not be a happy birthday. This is Christina's birthday party, and everyone at it. There's Brianna, her little cousin. Ailey, her other cousin. Ailey. There's her daddy Tommy. Hello. Tommy. And here's her aunt Misty. Misty. Here's her uncle Joey. Oh, his name Joey. I'm gonna still call you Uncle All Bill. Right, he look like a bill to me. Daddy lighting the candles. I'm looking in the back behind Uncle Tommy or Papa Doc, just in case someone like peek out and shit. Who this lady in the front though? Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Okay, it's Christina. Oh god. What the hell is going on? Go to front row, girls. Go. If I ever experience anything like this, Oh, terrifying I'm, paranormal oh. activity disrupts the happy celebration, upsetting the freaked out young girl. The family feels that the unexplained events have gotten completely out of control. Probably the worst birthday party for that little girl. But, like, despite all the paranormal activity that's going on, there's a bunch of pizzas around the table. Start eating that pizza, bro. I would have been. I would have took me one of those pizzas, went to the living room, and start eating it. And plan to do a seance together in hopes of ridding the home of whatever is haunting them. It did not go well. Goes down. I'm running. And you guys can do the seance. I'm not doing it. I'll sit hey, you can sit there with us and do it too. You can no. sit there with us no. and help us, man. No. Well, it's supposed to be four people with a seance, anyways. I mean, one from. The movies I've seen, the one that's not participating or decides, you know, be counted out of like a seance or whatever, prayer or whatever, that motherfucker right there might get possessed. I'm that's just from like movies I've seen though. So, buddy, the ghost might be with that dude now. See, see. I bet you're gonna participate now. I gotta go, man. Hold on, sit still. This few minutes. This is saying or just for a few minutes, just till Sam gets here. Sam and Tacey's supposed to be here in a minute. I guess so, but. Man. Yeah, hold on. Y'all got a, a bit of smudge on y'all camera. Y'all gotta get off. This is a shot by iPhone 5. Either yeah, iPhone 4 or 5. Leslie, I'm sorry, but come up. We gotta hold hands. Don't let go of each other's hands. No matter what we do, you've got to stay in the circle and hold hands. Don't let go. I'm not part of this circle, man. If you let go of each other's hands, it's got control of it. it can... A ghost coming for you. The demon oh, coming for you wrong. now. I would have at least like the put the camera down and start yeah, holding hands. I would have joined the circle. That goes and put hydraulics on y'all mattress. Okay. Just get it. Let's quit. Start up, something, bitch. Sorry, what is that? I'm, I don't know. This is a new one on me, Jerbo. What is it? 
Are you okay? Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Here, here. Uh -oh. Her here, here, here. Let me see, are you cut or are you hurt? No. Thomas? Yes. Thomas? <laughs> Wait, go on with her. Go, 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 go. go. Wait, let's come on, man. Bring the camera. Let's get out. Oh, come on. Come on. Take this off. Take this off. Shut it in there. Shut it in there. My bad, y'all. Thanks to my knees. Now this is a whole 40 minute video. I wasn't even trying to make it that long. To be sitting here. <sighs> Look. God, that ain't nothing. Check it out, Jacob. Get this off of it. Let's get it. Go on. Let's get it. God. As the family begins the seance, a bed moves on its own, even though family member Jacob is sitting right on top of it. Jacob jumps up in fear, but the bed still continues to move. The water faucet then turns on by itself. But what truly seems to terrify them all is that blood seems to drip down from the ceiling and lands on Tommy's wife's hand. Now Tommy believes that something demonic and evil has attached itself to his family. But what happens next will forever Jacob. remain a mystery. Because you see, these videos were posted to YouTube over 10 years ago. 10 and years ago? No updates. How old was I 10 years? Okay, it's... Quite a bit of research. I just... It's 2022. 10 years ago, that was like what? 2012? 2012, I was in high school. Sophomore. God, bro. I was probably like 16. 15 or 16. One of those ages. Discovered that the family eventually moved away to a new home. Tommy's son has shared that the paranormal activity if I'm doing has calmed down right. a lot since then and has never returned to being as extreme as it is in these videos. I'm doing the so map because I'm 26 now, so like. Activity? Because the girls at the birthday ago, party certainly seem legitimately know. freaked out. So either the family experienced real paranormal events, or I don't think the kids were in on the plan. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks once again for watching. My upload schedule is borked. So please subscribe. Alright y'all, that's in the video. Noops top 5 scary ghost videos that are disturbing. It was probably like two of them that were really disturbing to me. And that's something I don't want to encounter. Y'all yeah, make sure y'all like this video up. This is probably be like a 30, 20 something minute video. Like this video up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click that bell so you know if only boys are going to know it. Or find, you know, new top five scariest ghost videos. Y'all know, bro. It's your boy Real. Y'all make sure y'all stay blessed. I'm out saying peace. RP Strange Man.